Welcome back to Doom Patrol. No. <laughs> Young Justice. I was just talking. <sighs> We're going to start over. Welcome back to Young Justice. This is Season 4, Episode 1, Inhospitable. Inhospitable. Whatever. I know how to say it. <laughs> uh, this was a surprise. Dropped on us at DC Fandom that the first two episodes were released and they're going weekly on Thursdays now. I probably I'll watch these first two I think, and then hopefully I can start catching up. I think I'm gonna start this one before Doom Patrol. So if you guys are still waiting for Doom Patrol, don't worry. Still don't really have any spoilers other than what I've seen in trailers. I'm trying not to remember anything, and luckily, haven't gotten any Google spoilers, which are really the hard ones to avoid. It's usually Google News will just like, hey, you like this show, right? So, so far nothing for Doom Patrol. Um. But that'll come probably after Stargirl, to be honest. Uh, after Stargirl finishes the season, Young Justice, I'll try to catch up with. I'll try to keep up with since Titans is ending this week anyways. <sighs> with all that out the way, um, I think we're going to deal with Mars a lot this week, this, this season. <laughs> um, and based on the trailer as well, um gonna deal with artemis you know she's been a major character last season too um but we're gonna deal with her and cheshire probably trying to break her back into like hey this is your family you know come come and take care of your daughter um there's probably gonna be i know there's gonna be more of a focus on the first gen team so like zatanna and rocket even we'll get some more screen time strangely we didn't see rocket in the preview little trailer thing they did but hopefully that just means she's in later episodes because i think i feel like the preview is like the first two episodes to be honest um there wasn't any nightwing or aquaman either so it's probable that you know we're just gonna get them later i wouldn't be surprised if there's multiverse stuff um is this the season we get wally back with the speed force you know a lot of questions uh, i know last season we left off with brion just going crazy and killing <laughs> and now he's like the dictator and there's infinity inc and halo is a god well you know she's not a little god but like she's she's like one of their strongest fucking heroes we have so dark side is still out there yeah i'm, I'm excited to see where this goes I, I think season three was a bit of a, not a letdown but you know i think season one i think it just really has been season one then season two then season three in my opinion um and that's not to say that season three was bad it was just not as good as season one because season one is like a highlight of dc animation um you know I, i'm very excited to see this i'm you know i'm excited to see especially if it's getting back to its roots like it's saying getting back to the original team you know right now we're kind of inflated with so many people that it's hard to keep track of who everyone is and what everyone's doing so if we can go back to just, you know, these are our main characters, then I think that would really be good for the show in the long run. Anyways, with all that preamble, let's get into this episode. Oh, is there going to be a time skip? I'm predicting six months. One year, okay. What is happening? <laughs> um, from the trailer, I thought John was separate. Oh my god. Audio wasn't working. I'm glad I noticed this quickly. It's the new intro. Now I'm like worried. What does phantoms mean? Does it mean like ghosts of their past? Because that affects Artemis with the trailer we saw. Artemis and Cheshire. Ghosts. I don't know why I'm so excited. Of the science center. Wait, wait, wait. You're the chief scientist? In charge of the Zeta project. Why wouldn't I be? <clears throat> Sorry. Connor Garfield? This is my sister. Oh, okay. Marie. No problem. I always preferred Hello Megan's Rita character anyway. Oh yeah, that's much better. I believe <laughs> this good. is everything. Cider is beast boy. I never thought I could be part of something. It's like Star Wars. Wish I had this brunch. Hurt. That's a lot of hostility. Is she the only red one too? 
about his hand. Oh no. <laughs> and I regret nothing, Wes Edda. You will, once I put a stop to this. My orders come directly from the Queen. We will see about that. No! Tear us apart! Bring us each! This boy, no. Those brain blasts leave a mark. Dead, is he? Oh, or is there a body? Let's call the watchtower first. Who is that? Is that the Legion? Why are they? The Legion are good guys. What the fuck's happening? As you know, Wait. Black Lightning, Jefferson, has put a priority on mental health. John, Kari Walgren. Right? No. Hinden. Kari is Starfire, so Hinden Walsh is Blackfire, right? How are you, man? So Hinden Walsh. So Starfire was the voice of. McGann's sister, the villains. Blackfire is Hindenwald. Who is Starfire? That explains it. <laughs> she voices both of them. Okay. Just more Blackfire than Starfire in this episode. Now that we got that out of the way. Oh my god, dude. What a great episode. Like, I don't know. Like, they're using that... Last season, it felt like they are using the... You know the the freedom from Cartoon Network and you know having to be a teen, you know Y through seven type of show. Um, they were using that excuse to sort of amp up the blood and like the oh, sexuality and all that stuff. But like obviously, it could still do that. You know, we saw from the trailer there was a lot of blood in it, so I'm sure that we're gonna get something like that happening. My thing is this episode in particular touched on a lot of like racial tensions you know social social injustice um more of like adult themes without going like more edgy and gory just to be edgy if that makes sense to you guys um but yeah it just like really jumped us into the plot here and i'm very excited to see where we go um obviously the zeta 2 broke at the end so that's why they're stuck there but again we saw martian manhunter in the trailer so that made me believe that he's still alive but at the end there like he <laughs> it looked like he didn't make it through the portal um i'm sure he did but, um so we'll see what, what kind of story goes on here uh yeah i really never you know back in season three when they did have that little that one episode um on new genesis and macam was there and that was like the whole plot line was that he's going rogue and becoming mal fuck i knew that was set up i didn't realize it was going to be such an integral part as to take up miss martian superboy and beast boy for this whole season i'm assuming it's this whole season a plot line here um you know just split them up and have them deal with Mars for a whole season. I did not expect that. So we'll see how this all works out. How that, you know, from what we could tell, it seemed like, uh, the you know, McCom wasn't the one who did that. So now I'm like, either he, he's gotten so powerful to a point where he was able to deceive Megan, which is scary because so far she is like the strongest psychic we have ever seen in the show. So that's one possibility that he was strong enough to deceive her or something else happened and it wasn't him that did it. It was somebody else. Um, like the sister, maybe like I was saying, you know, she was kind of sus, but then I, I took it back from her. So maybe she is sus in the end and like, like he was sort of a distraction and the sister was really the one they should have been focusing on. And she's the one who did the sabotage. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, so there's all that um yeah i'm just 
this is weird like this is it's weird i don't know it's not weird because i like bc but this is like the first time in a while i'm like taking notes i'm like excited to like theory craft and shit you know even star girl i really love star girl but even that i'm just like okay i i absorb it it goes in my brain i don't have to like make notes about things that really confuse me but this show is so deep and there's so many little tiny things that you can miss that i have to take notes sometimes um, especially like you know if you've been watching this since season one you know what kind of shit they do in this show where like you think it's a throwaway line it's a throwaway thing but no there's clues in there so this is just what i took notes on this episode so star girl since we talked about her um i believe she was one of the characters in mars that they were like oh the outsiders so i'm guessing in that one year time span she became star girl because i know that she was in season three but she was just courtney whitmore she was like a teen host kind of thing um kind of like gar is you know he's like a, she's like a teen celebrity so i'm assuming that in between that she became star girl as well um or she could have just been star girl the whole time and we didn't really see her suit up last season but we did see her um i think wonder girl got a new outfit too i saw wonder girl really quickly when they were shape-shifted but I'm not sure if it was the lighting or what, but it looked like she had a new outfit. Superboy had a D designation, and same, so, would, so did Terra, Halo, and Forager. Which, so in the in the intro credits, which I, first off, I love that they're using the, the season one soundtrack. It's really, it's really hitting home the point. This is a return to the original squad, especially because it highlights the original squad. Um, but let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Clack. Also, the Legion of Doom, or the Legion, the Legion of Superheroes, not Doom. Um, it went through like a quick roll call of all the the original cast, right? So you know, it had it went from like whatever B one Robin to whatever his de designation number is now, Nightwing, and same with like Aqualad to Aquaman. So like it it showed their transformations, but it also showed their designations, their B designations. You know, like B one through seven, or what you know, what was it, eight or nine, in the first you know, the first Young Justice squad and then where they are currently. So like, you know, Zatanna and Rock here and are part of the league. So they had like a just a straight up a 26 or whatever their designation is. So there's there's A designations, which we know are the Justice League. There's B designations, which we know are the covert ops, the team, whatever. Um, so I'm, I think, uh, yeah, Miss Martian is still in there. Artemis is still there. Nightwing is still there. Um, but there was also a D designation. So I don't know what that D stands for. Is that like defunct or, you know, like what is, because it wouldn't be the outsiders, would it? I, did, I have to double check if uh, Garfield was under a D designation or not, but I for sure caught that Superboy was a D designation, Terra, Halo, and Forager. So is it like, you know, are, are they like retired, I guess? You know, they're, they're focusing on school, the kids are. So is that why Superboy is there too? Because he's just, he's done being Superboy? I don't know, like, what what does that mean? Does it mean something? I, I'm I'm curious if you guys know. Um, or if that's old news and I'm just forgetting. Emery Jones, I believe her name. So, anyways, McGann's sister, point is. It sounds like she's a blood sister to McGann. Um, you know, we know that Martians have big families, so it's not crazy to think that she's, like, directly sister-related, just like that macam is directly brotherly related um it's just she took the last name of jones so i was wondering like does is that just a way to honor martian manhunter you know what how, why did why did she do that um i'm sure that's just like little backstory lore they're building up but i wonder if we're going to delve into that especially if she is going to be evil um sort of see why she changed her last name like that Sorcerer priestesses can be from any cast or any color from what I could tell um, So it could be a white green or red Martian, but then they take on a different form, which I'm just assuming it was yellow <laughs> from what they were saying um, So I'm you know, I'm just taking notes for because I know that it's probably gonna be important later on of like the cast system and all the colors You know, we know that the red is royalty um, the royal class the green is just pretty much the majority you know they're they're in the middle and then white martians are minority um gar said ethnic minority and ethnic majority so it makes me i don't know now if it when he says that basically i can't remember if they confirmed in this show because i know in, in the comics is different i know that 
uh, green Martians are lesser, I believe. Um, so like, yeah, I know in this show, basically they, that's what they said, minority and majority, but I can't remember if it's just a numbers thing. There's more green or does it mean green have more status? I can't remember which one it is. So if you guys can let me know in the comments, I'd be greatly appreciated. And then lastly, the bio ship. What the fuck <laughs> happened with that pool of bio ship thing? I don't like it. Um, I, I guess it's supposed to be a good thing, but it was just like bio ship turned into the egg form. All the eggs just liquefied together. And then from that pool, it looked like the regular old bio ship came out and then like a new one and they're going off into the sun, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just like a side plot, just like, hey, this is what Bioship's doing, or if that's like important that somehow Bioship was, you know, convalesced with other Bioship things. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's important or if that's just like, hey, he's having fun. She's having fun. That was it. I really want to watch the next episode, but I also want to do other things today, so... I'll watch the next episode tomorrow. And yeah, what do you guys think? Like, this is, I don't know. I'm like really in a weird state right now because literally I, I remember last season, I liked last season, but like, I don't remember being this excited for it. And I'm just so, maybe I'm just so burnt out in Titans, but I'm just, I'm just happy to see like, this feels like a good start. Um, You know, very promising so far. And if, if the show can continue like this, um, I think we're going to have a really good season on our hands. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next episode.